Shall I, shall I speak without a mic? Because you guys are, uh, yeah, it's fine. yeah? Otherwise it's been, well, let's try a mic. Maybe it's not, it's not, hello. Ooh, ah. Okay, <laughs> that was better than coffee. Uh, so let me sh share with you uh, a video, just to set the tone, and then we can start talking. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, making some time this morning to come and hopefully uh, uh, get something useful out of what I will say. Uh, I, it, it happens to be also uh, the 40th uh, chapter or the 40th time you guys uh, meet. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the name of honesty, I'm also 40 years old. So <laughs> that's the coincidence right there. So. Um, my name is Mohammed Saeed Harb. I'm a UAE national, and I have a call. Okay, so. <laughs> I have a, I'm a UAE national, and uh, I studied general arts and animation. Uh, I, I actually um, went to Northeastern University in Boston in and don't get shocked here now. It's uh, in the 90s. It's sometimes 1996, and I um, I graduated or did not graduate in uh, the year 2000. Uh, just to let you know, I went in studying uh, architecture. Unfortunately, because in my high school, we did, not, we did not finish high school knowing what we wanted to go into. And, and this, is, this was very common with a lot of people from my, universe, from, uh, my high school. There was, there was no prepping like there was before, like or what uh, there is now. So basically now, you know, you have these consultants, the teachers, we have evolved. But back then, it's like... You know, and I really sucked at, at, at high school. Um, so I asked my father what, what he wants me to do. What do he wants me to, to be? Uh, and he said, why don't you become a lawyer? I was like, did you check my grades? He's <laughs> 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 like, okay, no. So um, he's like, okay, why can't you try to study architecture? And uh, the, the whole thinking was, I'm going to America. All my high school friends are going to the same city. That's how it is. You know, so no, there's no thought process, nothing, no choosing a good university, anything. Where's, where's my, where are my friends going? That's where I'm going. Uh, and uh, I ended up in Boston, which is not bad, because in Boston you have MIT, Harvard, you have uh, Boston University, Tufts, all of those. Um, I studied architecture uh, in a university called Wentworth. And before I knew it, uh, my F grades starting to show, started to show up because I really was not very good in maths or physics. But the uh, architecture, fee, uh, architecture uh, major had arts in it. You have to know a lot of art and a lot of physics and maths. That's, that's what architecture is. And we used to, they used to send us on a nine hour mission to the Boston uh, Museum to sketch the thumb or the toe of the pharaoh. And I was like, oh God. And then onions, and I don't know what, and it's like, I don't sketch. I am not a sketcher. I, I don't sketch. I can't sketch to save my life. And I think there is a very big, um, uh, there's a misconception uh, that, oh, Muhammad is the animator. He's an animator. I'm not an animator. I can't animate to save my life. And I can't sketch to save my life. I can actually maybe communicate uh, what I want to say, but it will be stickmen. You know, like, that's how I will communicate. I'm a director. 
which I will go into. It's a totally different thing. Uh, so I, I, I really was failing miserably. But I love that art section of it. And back then, it was taboo for us locals, men, to be involved. Uh, we were like around 190 students uh, from the UAE that were in the city, uh, in, in Boston. And I was the only one who was in the, who, who was in the arts. And you know, it's like, oh, Muhammad, what kind of future will he have? And kind of thing. You know, the, these things come up. <laughs> and you know, um, I was worried as well. My father was worried as well. Uh, the, the sponsors, the government uh, had a sponsorship program, and they were worried when they saw my grades really not, uh, not very good. Uh, I was like, F stands for fantastic. <laughs> and I know. So I lost my sp uh, sponsorship or scholarship, sorry. Uh, and my father was like, and this is maybe the theme of honesty comes in. He was like, listen, you either come back to Dubai, uh, and we try to figure out what, what and I'm the eldest, huh? so I have to be like the poster child. Um, or, or you f tell me what, what you want to do or what you want to be. And I was like, listen, there is this field called arts that maybe I like. So he's like, mm, OK, fine. If you think that you can excel in this field, then go there. My problem, the problem is my GPA was very low. So from there, I could not move to another university. I have to go to a community college. Somewhere in the mountains, like really weird people, you know. But then that's where you go to start again from zero. And it was a little, it was uh, the kind of university or community college where they actually, you work a lot. It's, it's not theory. It's, it's like, I have to splice this tape to make an edit, to, to you know, like stick this thing together. And it's like, ah, you know, take out the good stuff. It was really hands on and I was happy. I think, I think the most important thing for me was that I was actually happy. And, and I aimed to go into a university, which is Northeastern, which offers a good art program. But the problem was, uh, I, uh, the problem was I could not go into the day program. So I had to go through and work in, into my community kind of degree and then work into uh, myself into the night program. And in the night program, it's only people who are my age now. You know, people who work and then come to finish their degree. And I was like 17, you know, and it's like, and they did not understand why, why is he here? So, and, and um, I, that's where I learned a lot about, you know, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator. I was intrigued. Uh, I learned how to uh, work on Flash, uh, the Flash program. You don't know, you don't need to know Flash. Flash is dead. But we, we kind of, uh, l you know, learned and learned. And, and then I made it to the day program. And that's when it got really interesting for me. And, 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 and I really excelled and really loved what I'm doing. And one day, I was walking. You know, uh, our degree starts with ART. So you know, pick and choose what you want. You want. So I was walking in, um, in the corridor once. Sorry, this is like Godzilla mode. OK. We were like walking, walking through. And then I see a, a class in the beginning of the semester where they are like watching animation. And I was like, wow, that's an easy class. That's a fun class to be in. And you know, little did I know, that's like, like one of the hardest, hardest things. <laughs> they make you see animation for 15 minutes, and then they make you make it, which is like not fun. <laughs> so uh, I went there, and I asked if I can join. And he said, like, yeah. And this was an eye opener for me, because I grew up, like many people in my, in my uh, kind of age group, um, if you're an Arab guy, um, who, uh, from my generation, you would grow up probably watching dubbed cartoons, uh, mainly Japanese cartoons, or the Disney classics, let's say Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, uh, back in my days. Uh, and as you go on to, of course, The Lion King, Aladdin, you know, and, and all of those. Um, so I was very interested to know how this happened. But I knew very well that A, there is no industry here. B, you need a lot of time to make it see a lot of money and a huge team. And that can't be done. Like when I left, or cannot be achieved, when I left to Boston, there was one, one uh, TV station, one radio station, and one lame newspaper. And, and then my, and with all due respect, whenever I told my father, like, I want to be in media, he was like, what will you be, a presenter? That's, that's the scope of media here. 
Before the media cities and the film festivals and the studio cities, this is the kind of landscape back then. But I kept at it, and I was doing very well. My GPA was 3.65, very similar to the dollar exchange. Uh, but but uh, unfortunately, uh, well, I did my last summer uh, invited to Harvard. By, by Harvard has a summer school. So we were invited uh, five people from each university. I made the cut in arts. Uh, and they taught me this program called, called uh, Flash there. And uh, that, that following fall, 9-11 uh, happened from Boston. So um, this, the embassy told us that it is probably not safe for you to be here right now. And I was like, screw it. I'm not coming back. So I left. And, I, and, and everybody went back. And I said, no, I, uh, the, f the fool in me said, no, you, have, you know how to do Photoshop. You know how to do graphic design. You're talented. Right. Came back. In the, books, in the books of everyone here, I came back with a high school degree. All this five year, four year, whatever you call it, meant nothing to anybody that you want to, like, a, like a, any institute, any, any workplace. What are your degrees? I, uh, me, if you go check on me, high school. That meant my money, the salary I will be paid, or actually the, 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 you know, if they will hire me or not, is very slim. Anyone. I'm not qualified. You know? Um, I stayed, I think, a year and a half. I did not work. Um, um, and then I, I, coming back to that story, I'll just jump back again. In that classroom uh, where we studied, uh, we studied animation, we had a class called, uh, um, I think, Animation 101 or something. The, we were a big group from, from many countries. Our, our uh, teacher was an um, American Jewish guy. And he was like, I want you to create a character that represents your culture. And everybody was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's easy. I come from the land of you know, the Arabian Nights and Alibaba's and the Aladdin's and the Capes and the stuff. And I was like, Ksh, 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 Ksh. here you go. He was like, no, I've well, seen this. You know, like Disney did this, DreamWorks is doing this. Like, no, no, what relates to you now? Like, what do you, who's your role model? Like, because, you know, these characters are about role models. And I was like, no one actually. No one. I was not raised, we were not raised to look up, unless you're a CEO or a Sheikh. I don't have anyone. And he was like, how about your like, like immediate, immediate uh, history? I was like, well, my grandfathers, our grandfathers, they, they've been telling us that they go on these seven month pearl diving trips. They go, you know, like um, risking their lives to get the pearl and they, they fight off the sharks, although we don't have sharks in these waters, but you know, over glorified grandfather mode. <laughs> and he was like, well, how about your grandmother? I was like, you know, my grandmother raised seven, raised 10 kids actually. And while my grandfather was away, she managed to raise my father and my uncles and the people of this generation who are now ministers, leaders. And they did it with no electricity. They had to do with what they had. They had to go work. They had to go teach. She looked physically very unique with the burger she's wearing. She's an amazing character. Uh, and I, I remember grandmothers had this tendency to advise you and insult you in the same sentence. <laughs> and I was like, that's beautiful. And I sketched my uh, grandmother, called her Um Saeed, the mother of Saeed, which is my father. And the, bro and the, the teacher looked at it. He was like, wow, you sketched a, a chicken. I was like, no, no, it's not a chicken. He's like, what's this thing? I was like, it's a, it's, it's a burger. I was like, ah. You guys are wearing, I was like, no, it's look at the contour and it's, it makes the eyes look nice. This material is light and reflective. Back in the day, there is no makeup, blah, blah, blah. He gave me an A. I developed the rest of the characters based on a matrix. For every Timon, there is a Pumba. For every Tom, there is a Jerry. For every Um Saeed, there is Um Salum. Um Saeed is a very feisty, hot, red character, the leader, the matriarch, as they say. Very wise, loves coffee. Uh, and then uh, we have Um Salum, who is a very cold blue. She's forgetful. She's kind-hearted. She can't, you know, she, you will talk to her for ages, and then she'll totally, dissolve, uh, do, uh, you know, like, go away. And, like. and then for these, I have created another character who is taller, more educated, slightly in a, on a teenager mode, 
which is Um Alawi, because I wanted to show that not every educated person is wise and not every wise person is educated. That's the matrix there. Come in again, created Um Hamas, who believes in woman empowerment, three time, a three time widow, that husband's died mysterious deaths. She's like a cook and, you know, she, she's, she's on a roll, she's feisty. And I put that as a, and we, I had that thing, it was on a sketchbook. Thank you. Came back, had nothing. And, and uh, I started a, a small little blog back then called Digital Genies. You don't need to know about it. <laughs> anyway, I, let's say like, I gathered seven art friends who I've never met. Back then, you know, like uh, forums and blogs are like a, a thing. Um, and then we managed to put the first issue forward of Digital Genies where we talk about different things. And I was curating that website, which lasted two months. The first month, I reached out to a friend who works in Dubai Media City. Back then it's like Dubai Media City. What's that? You know, it's like an amazing thing. It's like the place to be, Dubai Media City. And I was like, can we are artists. We want to know what is Dubai Media City. So can you put, can you schedule a meeting with Abdul Hamid Juma, uh, who's the CEO of uh, Dubai Media City? Yeah. So I go there. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, ask him questions, blah, blah, blah. Next morning, I get a call from the marketing department telling me, Abdul Hamid Jum'ah wants to hire you. Something impressed him, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, why not? What's the, what's the salary? He's like, 7,000. I was like, fine. You know, for me, like 7,000 was something. I did not, like, you know, my father was like on my case, <laughs> you know? And I was like, Listen, 7,000 by Media City, hey, no bad, you know? I went there, and I think my job description was to make sure we had enough envelopes and stocks, and, which is, you know, for me, it's, I, I'm happy, I'm within that thing. <coughs> time pass, passes by, I'm talking now about 2003. Time passes by, time passes by, I start to, you know, feel, find my bearings. They start to realize I'm actually, actually good at taking pictures, I'm good at, making designs, I'm good at using this, I can fix things instead of sending it to the agency, uh, I can do a retouch of Photoshop instead of doing that. They started to go like, oh, Harb knows how to talk to the agencies, let's get Harb to the agency meetings. Agencies love me because I know their lingo, and you know, yeah, you know, it's like, oh, the CEO has no test, yeah, I agree, let's do this, and let's do that. This went on for a while, and one day I went on holiday to Malaysia. I have no, reason, I have no idea why and where and when. Came back, I had to post it on my screen, by you know the old style computers. Abdul Hamid wants to see you. And I was like, oh, sh what does he want? I'm going to the, I'm going. He's like, what? And then he was like, in his voice, because his voice, I'll tell you what his voice was. He's like, what's this? I was like, well, what's, what's what? He's like, I didn't know you do animation. I was like, well, you never asked me. He's like, no, 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 part of the segments we're trying to develop here in Media City is animation. You need to, well, well, you need to take this cartoon of yours or concept and go fishing around the companies we have and see if we can produce something like that. And I was like, I was like something ignited in me. Like, I was like, yeah, sure. I looked around, I looked around, found this company. They are based in Thailand. And we, we were like, okay, let's go. And I had like 18,000 dirhams. Can you produce something like really small? Can we know? So, yeah, 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 I went to Thailand. And remember, these characters since 1998 were in my head. They, uh, you know, like I imagined them. I... We're talking 2003 now. Come, come, come to the end of 2003, the, the demo is here. And we sat all together. Uh, in that big boardroom here in, uh, in Media City, and they pressed play. And for the first time ever in my life, I see my characters moving. It's, it's weird. It's amazingly weird. And it's like they're moving, they're, they're and, 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 and I was like, oh, oh, uh, before that, while we were doing that demo, I went to my cousin in one of the majlises. You know, we have, look, we're locals, we have majlises, you know. He's like, yo, Ahmed. He's like, what? And he's like, playing with synths and stuff, and playing with synths. He's like, I need a soundtrack for Fridge. He's like, oh, yo, your grandmother thing. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, how about this? 
little did he know this guy that the London Philharmonic will be playing his score two years later. <laughs> it's mind blowing afterwards, the things that happened. So I took it and I see it and I see the Om Hamas and I see this and it's, it's like amazing. Skip to the next slide, the costs. <laughs> no, we can't do that, it's too expensive. Uh, it's two million dollars. And back then, the best show you can pull out in Ramadan, and you know, my Arab friends will understand, the best one with the lead actress, you, you name them, Hayat al-Fahad, I don't know who, my name. The best show you can do is for eight million dirhams, which is less than two million for sure, you know? And I was like, two million dollars? You're talking like what? How much? I'm bad at math. Come, how much is two million dollars? Seven. Seven. Okay, for an animation who is, which is like 15 minutes, no, no big stars, never, never done, and they used to buy the best cartoons dubbed for $2,000 an episode. So he's like, Halas, it's good, good to know, good to hear, this segment does not work for us in the UAE. And I was like, you cannot do this to me. <laughs> he's like, you know what, Mohammed, I have an idea. Let's go to Dubai TV together. I went to Dubai TV, they gunned me down, he said, like, listen, we're not funding anything like this. We love your idea. But if you develop it, produce it, we'll air it. And like, you'll, you'll pay something. He's like, yeah, we'll pay the price we paid for the thing. You know, if anything, we'll do that. He's like, fine. Then he's, and, and then I was like really depressed. And he said, Abdul Hamid told me, the CEO, he's like, uh, why don't you go to the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid uh, fund box for small and business. I was like, Abdul Hamid. They have a cap of 1 million dirhams. That's their cap. You're talking, we're talking 8 million. Like, okay, even if I'm really impressive, and I'm not even a big director, I did not even direct a deodorant uh, commercial before. How, you know, you look, the, the, the odds are against you. He's like, just go see the guy. What do you have to lose? I'm like, fine. Schedule the meeting. I go. Having my demo, which is like a 30 second clip, and he loves it. It's amazing. You know, Mohammed, I can try to push this to the board. But you have no business plan. You have no, <laughs> you have nothing. Can you at least go, you went to one company in Thailand, maybe look around and blah, 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 blah. blah. I said, fine. Well, the best people who make business plans for anything to do with media would be Dubai Media City. So I go there, we pull all the resources, I meet this uh, lady who is now my partner, who happened to become the CEO of Dubai Film Festival, Shivani. And she said, Harib, you need to go to India. The industry is in India. And I was like, and, and she's like, I will, go, I will go there. There is a big company called UTV. I want you to meet them. And there is another company in Bangalore, and you need to meet them. And I was like, does this mean I have to go work in India? I was like, because I went there once, Sorry to say to Bombay, Bombay, and I didn't like it. She's like, yeah, you probably would have to camp there for a while. I was like, fine, let's go. We went, and that year, they, had, they were hit with one of the biggest monsoons ever. Oh. And I, I kid you not, I reached the studio, which was drowning. The CEO was on the rooftop, and we were coming by boat. <laughs> I was like, okay, this one, this one I don't even sign up with. Oh he's like, he's like, oh, no, no, we changed location, we're cool, everything is okay, I'm just wrapping up here. I was like, what are you wrapping up with driving? <laughs> I was like, and then we went to Bangalore, very pimp, very nice, resortish. The only difference between the two people is that second guy in Bangalore did not look me in the eye while talking to me. And I, I am a sensitive creature like that. And I was like, he's, he's like, Shivani, he's, he's telling us something, and he's not looking at me. Like, he's not looking me in the eye. And it's like, everything else is nice. They have a nice, beautiful city. No one is drowning. <laughs> that guy was like, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me do this. Let me. His name was Moy. We managed to bring, that, bring, down the, bring down the cost from $2 million to 4.2 million dirhams, and, uh, which is like a big difference. And we had to reduce the number of episodes from 30 to 15, which, not, which is not a good format for the TV station. 
And we managed to make it from 30 minutes to 15 minutes, which again is not a good format. But it is a format. It's something. It's not, you know, it's something we can work with. We put an estimation in the business plan, merchandising zero, this is zero, we live zero. There is nothing we can do. If we're, we're going to sell this, we need to sell it. We front load the payment, sell it, and khalas. <laughs> I go back, finish my work, finish my project, go back to my 7,000 dirham job, and we're done. Can we work on that? So I come back, and I say, hey, Abdul Basit, I, I came back to half the price. It's now 4.2. And somewhere between this and that, inflation changed the rate inflation. So one million cannot sell you, buy you a supermarket anymore, or you can't start a business really. So they, with inflation came three million. The cap was raised in SME to three million. I was like, yes, 1.2 million to go. But there is no, they have never done it SME and they did not do it ever again. To take everything they have in their fund in one go, usually they will pay you 500,000, check on you, what's happening, yeah, okay, give him some more, based on the business plan. Me, my promise was, give me everything, I'll give you everything back in two, in two months. Their business plan is like three years grace period, five years payment, and I was like, I was like no, no, no. Give me everything, because that's how the entertainment industry works, and I'll give you everything back in two months. We went back and forth for, for three years. Back and forth, back and forth. It's like, Muhammad, you, every time I give you something, I send you away, people go out crying, you come back with two solutions. <laughs> crying. <laughs> and I was still working and doing my thing. At one stage, the, the, the animation company was like, Muhammad, uh, are we doing something here? Because our, uh, you know, resources are okay, yeah, yeah, we're totally doing it. So should we start? He's like, yeah, yeah, start. So the animation company started. And I was like writing scripts. I don't know what to do, get talent. I'm just learning how to write. My boss, who was in Dubai Media City as well, she was, she was an ex um, like script writer. She's like, Mohammed, don't follow the template. Just write what you feel. You, what do you feel as a, as a writer? You do that. I was like, yeah, yeah, but you know how it is in soap operas like in and It's like, no, no, no. Screw that. That's lame. You write what you feel. Your, your voice. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. And we were working on this and trying to get get my hands you know, um, wrapped around this project. And it's like, in India, we had 500 people like waiting and designing. And I was like, and, and uh, I, I went through a system where we were getting closer to Ramadan, or the next Ramadan. So I went from SME. And then uh, he, somebody told me to go see the banks. So I saw all the banks. They ditched me. I went to Nakhil. Nobody was interested. I went to Emirates. No one was interested. Because uh, I saw, like, you know, big, big national sponsors and whatever. They were like, no, we like our golf tournament. I was like, fine. <laughs> have it. Sponsor, 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 no way. Dead end, dead end, dead end. I ended up going to Dr. Omar Suleiman, who was the head of Dubai Internet City, so I know the guy. And now he was the, um, what is it called, mayor or something of DIFC. So I go there, I was like, Dr. I am, have this project, it's this, this. He's like, I'll buy your company. 80%. I was like, why? He's like, because I know first year you will not make money, but the second year after they see your show, everybody wants to come put money. I was like, you're weird. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not selling my company. He's like, listen, okay, fine. I sit on the board of it Salat. Um, I sit on the board of it Salat. Uh, can you, um, I can introduce you to them. And you know, they do some shopping for Ramadan sometimes. I was like, good. Because I've been trying to reach Do as well, and nobody's answering. I work in Tico. And Do just started. Do just, Do is not even out. So I, had, I was working on a pilot. I had the pilot ready. And we went to see it Salat. It Salat was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it Salat and these telecom companies come Ramadan, which is primetime TV. You know, they buy everything. Everything. Even, even the prayers are brought to you by. This is it. <laughs> So I managed also to cut a deal with the TV station saying, hey guys, I want the time after the prayer where you put the candid camera. You know that lame show? You know? Because their show starts only after 8 p.m. That's their thinking. I was sitting with my family year after year thinking, this is really prime time. But that's never prime time. It's like, actually, no prime time. We're all seated together seeing a lame show. I was like, I will give you that. You will give me that space? Yes, it's only 15 minutes, man, my show. 
15 episodes, you repeat them, it's another game, you don't lose. That slot is now the most paid slot in the UAE TV. You guys all know probably the people who's on. And that was done by us. Thank you. So I was like, going to Salat, Salat saying, listen, prime time, family sits, cartoons. He said, okay, fine. After, mu after much debate, we will give you three million dirhams. I was like, why? I, I need 4.2 and I go home. I don't want to make money. You're my bet. He's like, no, three million. And SME, the guy, was like, sign, Mohammed, sign, sign, sign. It's better that you have uh, one million uh, debt than three million, four million debt or three million debt. Because by then they gave me the money. They, they agreed to give me the money as long as we had the writing and understanding that I were good. So I was like, let me think about it. That same day, I don't know how these telecom spies work. That same day, I got a call from do <laughs> the people I was trying to reach for a while. I was like, hi, Mohammed. I was like, yeah, I've been trying to reach you, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, come, come over. I sit there, show them the thing, blown away. Because it's, it's weird to see like grandmothers talking, it's comedy. And, and, and they said, oh, Mohammed, listen, you're a national, we're a national company. You are doing uh, a culture. We are all about culture. You're bringing new technologies in, like as in 3D animated. And we're all about technologies. Let's get married. <laughs> and I was like, I'm about to sign with the Salat. <laughs> I was like, how much are you signing for? I was like, 4.2 million? <laughs> She's like, we'll give you 5.2 million. And I was like, but they're signing a multi-year multi deal. I said, we will sign a three-year deal with a 12% increase. And I went from a loser to a millionaire in one meeting. <laughs> but that meant nothing. Well, it did mean something. But it meant nothing if that show was not good. It's a big sham. You know, me, the artist, will be so devastated if this show did not do well. I managed to sell it lied my way through, managed to wear different hats, stayed three days a, a week in, in Bombay, three days in Dubai, three days in Bombay, back and forth, my night, day and night, the week in, week out. But I was like, and the characters, like the voices of the character, script is new, the voices are new, they are friends from my majlis. <laughs> Everything in Fridge was a majlis project. <laughs> um Hamas is a guy who I grew up with and never acted the game. You know, and uh, then ca came the, you know, the ultimate, ultimate moment where, you know, I was sitting there, it's 1998, uh, it's uh, 2006, he's like, oh, next up, preach, <laughs> you know, and it's like, my father has a cake and like everybody's proud and I'm like shaking. Show goes out, first episode received mixed signals, people were starting to get upset that I am making fun out of grandmothers. <laughs> Uh, I'm using men to do woman voices. All of this stuff that needs to go out of the way. <laughs> Second episode comes, people are talking. Third episode comes, and it was a wedding episode. And people loved it. And they started to talk. Did you? I'm, back, I'm talking back when social media did not exist. I had to wait for a column in the newspaper to know if I was doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You, you like... And... Um, and I, I remember by the end of the season, I, fe I felt like this is nice. This is, I actually managed to do a good show. And everybody used to call me after the finale and it was like, Mohammed, we doubted you. We like the big boys, you know, like the people who did not want to give me the money. And blah, blah, blah. It's like, ah, nah, you did a good, you proved us all wrong and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm very happy. I was like, uh, and I went to, I went to, and this is my first encounter uh, of fame, which is another subject. I was walking there with my cast. I mean, like, going to Zayed University, and it, they had their Ramadan f finale, or I don't know what it's called, it's like suhoor. So we walk there, I'm walking with them, and it's like, and we see the stampede. There's a stampede coming. I kid you know, maybe 200, it's like, is there a fire in the building? No, I don't know, they're all coming this way. And, 
and they were like, oh, oh, please sign on my hand. Sign on my th- sign on my th-. I was like, you, you don't, don't you wash your hands, you don't. He's like, and we're like, we're oh, signing, and we're like, signing, and we love the show, and Muslim Khabar, Muslim yeah. And they're like, and, and, and it was chaos. <laughs> Our next school visit, we decided we want to print cards with every character's face on it and charge everyone 10 dirhams. We made 40,000 dirhams. <laughs> That's honesty for you. Uh, <laughs> but that made, that propelled you, propelled me into another phase in my life, into another chapter. The first project I was, I was bombarded. I needed to cut, now run. Uh, I didn't want to go back to my job. I actually never quit. But I, uh, the first project that I was hit with is like, go film Tiger Woods for, a, uh, for an ad. Um, um, I, like, go do this and things that are on a huge scale. And I know I knew that I had to like adapt with the times. I don't want to be an animator. I just don't want to be an animation. This is a flimsy kind of business we are in, the whole segment. I need to know how to do music when I need to, shows when I need to, films when I need to. I just want to grab that energy. And listen, if I manage to do it with a cartoon show, then I'm sure you know the other segments of media are much more strong and developed for me to jump into them. And soon enough, I started to work on many projects. Many big ones. I worked, I got a call, and this is a very weird story. I got a call one day. It's like, hi, Mohammed, it's from uh, Doha Film Institute. It's like, hey, hi, what's up? I would never met them. It's like, listen, I want you to come to Doha today. Flew in. It's like, listen, Kanye West is here. <laughs> what? Kanye West is here. Why? Tell me about time, huh, guys? No. Time, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you that two stories after that, and we're done. You know the big story now. So I ended, up, I ended up seeing Kanye West on top of Carrefour. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah? He's like, here, I'm, he filmed in, in Doha for 10 days. I was there as the cultural consultant. I will tell you two, two small stories after that, and that's it. I grew up, as I told you, uh, grew up uh, watching Japanese cartoons, and I grew up watching uh, the work of Roger Allers, who is the director of uh, Beauty and the Beast and the writer in Aladdin, and uh, The Little Mermaid, and everything. So when I got a call in 2013 to say, hey, Mohammed, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is, we have a project called uh, The Prophet, which is about the writing of Khalil Gibran. And we have assembled nine directors from our, our, all around the world to everyone say a chapter, to, to come out with a chapter. And we selected you to be one of those directors, which include Tom Moore, uh, which include Roger Allers, who is the director of directors. And you guys will be working with him, and the, show, the project features Salma Hayek, Liam Neeson, and some other people. The guy from, the guy from A Quiet Place, John, John something. I was like, what? He's like, hey, you will be doing, doing one director, and you're the only Arabic director. You're, only, the, the, you're the only director who did not win any award. Like, <laughs> he's like, fine, <laughs> if this is how you want to see me. No. But then after, we, I worked three years with them. Three years, three treacherous years. Because they look at you and like, who are you? And then at the, in the end, the people were left, you know, Salma loved my chapter because it features animals. But... Uh, the, we went out. Of, uh, we walked out of the cinema, and people were. I was asking them, which? What do you think? What do you think of my chapter? And they will say, will say, which one is your chapter? We don't know the difference. And for me, that was the biggest praise because you know, my work stood and blended with everyone, and I was very happy that I have now managed to work with the director of the Lion King. And one last par- parting news as I go, I got a call from Sony pictures uh, in, in July. And December 4th, for the first time in Arabic history, an Arabic show will be actually dubbed in Japanese. Oh. And Fridge, and Fridge, and Fridge will air in Japan via Sony Pictures this coming time. It's the first Arabic show that actually travels. And with that, I can maybe conclude my story. Yeah.